Welcome sa zipline.com. This video, tutulin natin yung ating series on ratio and proportion. No? And in this video, ay magsusolve tayo ng panibagong problem which is very similar to the previous problem. No? Uh, yeah, basahin natin yung problem. No? So in a school, the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys is 4 is to 5. If there are 350 boys, how many are girls? So, ang ratio natin is 4 is to 5. No? Or yung ratio na to pwede natin siya represent as a fraction. No? Remember, yung 4 is to 5, ano na una dito? Girls, ang, nas, ang pangalaw is yung boys. No? So, mas nahuli yung boys, meaning uh, 5 yung boys dito, saka 4 yung girls. And sa fraction, kung alin yung nauna, syempre yun yung uh, gagawin natin numerator at na, yung nahuli, yun yung denominator. No? So, meaning, yung nasa taas natin yung boys, oh sorry, yung nasa taas natin yung girls, number of girls, saka yung nasa baba natin yung number of boys. So, dapat ganun din yung arrangement natin dito dun sa equivalent fraction natin na mabubuo, di ba? So, 350 yung boys. Saan mo ilalagay yung boys? Sa taas pa o sa baba? Sa baba din kasi dapat, ano sila, di ba? Pareho na sa baba. So, kasi 5 yung boys dito. So, 350 yung nandito. So, ang anong natin yung nasa taas, di ba? That's our N. So, 4... Over 5, no? or 4 fifths. Hindi na natin ulitin. No? So, paano nga ulit kinukuha to? We cross multiply, di ba? 5 times n is 5n. Then, 4 times 350. Okay? Huwag na muna natin i-multiply kasi mas madalas uh, na pwede tayo mag-cancel, no? So, para makatipid tayo ng oras. Kasi matagal din mag-multiply. So, 4 times 350. So, mas okay na i Keep na lang natin yung expression. No? So, divide both side by 5. We have uh, divided by 5, divided by 5. So, 350 over 5. That's 70. No? So, we can divide uh, the cancellation to, no? Kung, kung napanood nyo yung ating uh, series on cancellation, then this, this is familiar siguro. Kung hindi, ay uh, maganda panoorin nyo yun, no? Kung paano ba nagka-cancel. So, dito, kung meron kang common factor na pwede mong i-cancel, the greatest common factor ng dalawang number, na yung isa-isa numerators, yung isa naman denominator, pwede yun, di ba? Ano ang greatest common factor nila na pwede natin? Di ba? 5. So, 350 divided by 5, this becomes 70. And then, 5 divided by 5, this becomes 1. No? So, kung ano may dinivide mo dito, ganun din divide mo dito. Di ba? Pag-usapan natin yun sa equivalent fractions, di ba? Sa mga previous videos natin. So, meaning n equals uh, 4 times 70, that's 280. Tapos, yung ating denominator ay 1. Meaning, 280 divided by 1 is 280, so 280 yung n natin. Meaning, yung ating sagot dito, how many, how many are girls? Ang sagot natin ay 280. No? Of course, uh, since ratio and proportion, pwede na natin itong i-represent as 4 is to 5 equals n is to 350. No? And sabi natin, pag proportion yung dalawang uh, ratios, then the product of the extremes, no, yung number outside, is equal to the product of the means. Yung nasa loob naman. So, product ng means natin ay 5n equal siya sa product ng extreme natin, which is 4 times 350. Which is the same as this one. So, syempre, pag pareho na yan, uh, isusolve din natin siya similarly. No? Okay, so uh, I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan sa video na ito o susunod natin na pag-aaralan ay uh, yeah, I think we'll still solve some problems involving ratio and proportion. Maraming salamat. Gusto ko kayong invite sa ating uh, website sa sipnayan.com no? na nandyan yung ating list ng mga videos na sunod-sunod. No? So may mga exercises tayo dyan no? after watching the video. No? Hinundi-undi ko lang yan, no? pero meron na tayong mga natapos na na meron kasama exercises. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.